So let's take a look now at how we manipulate images in the browser. So here I've got an image of what I call Pac-Man. It's from an old game where this little guy used to move across the screen eating things. So what we need to do is to be able to position uh, images and we need to swap between two images. Let me show you uh, what I mean by this. That Here I've got some code and part of the code I've got pacman1.png is this image and pacman2 is this one. So if I can swap between the two like this I can make it look like it's chomping away. The second thing is I need to be able to position the image in the browser. So let's take a look. I've got some very simple code here. It's called hints and I've got an HTML tag and an image tag. And I give the image tag an ID of Pac-Man because I need to be able to get a hold of this data structure in the browser. And I give it a source of Pac-Man 1. So this is going to be the uh, this image with it open. Okay. So let's let's load this up. So I go to the browser and I've set up a little server here and I've loaded hints.html. So it's loaded this guy. And now what I'm going to do is bring up the development environment. So I do control shift I or command shift I. And this brings up the development environment. So I'm going to position that here so you can um, see the beginning of it. Now, what I want to do is I want to get hold of the data structure called Pac-Man. So that's this image data structure. So I do it like this. I'm going to call image one equals document get element by ID. Here it is, document get element ID, Pac-Man. Let's type it in, document get element by ID. I'll choose that. <clears throat> so image one now is that data structure. You see when I put the dot, it, it's actually a quite a complicated data structure. Now, one of the things I happen to know is that if I get hold of the style left, that's actually the left position of this image. And I can change it. Let me change it to 200. Now, it turns out that we have to use pixels. So I have to have, this is a string, it's not an integer, 200px. But now watch what happens when I set image1.style.left 200px. Watch what happens to the image. You see it jumps to 200. It turns out actually that this is the top left corner. The y coordinate will be zero. I can make it move down as well if I want by style dot top equals maybe I'll make it a hundred watch what happens now yeah it moves down so we can move the image around by just setting image one dot style dot left or image one dot style dot top now let's see if we can change let me move it back to zero image1.style.left equals 0px. There we are. Now I want to change the image. So I happen to know that image1.source is pacman1. So let me change image1.source To be equal to, I can just put actually Pac-Man 2 because I know that I'm running this from 
this directory where everything is it's all in this one directory I could specify the whole thing but I'm just going to specify that now what watch what happens to the image it changes so now he's got his mouth shut because the image source is Pac-Man 2 so we know both how to move this guy and to change the images so what I want you to do is I want you to I'm gonna I've got a solution here that's already done there he goes he's moving across the screen this is what I want you to implement so every time it's moving it's moving 20 pixels to the right and then when it exceeds 600 it jumps back so take a look at the exercise and this is what I want you to do now there's another thing that we have will cover and that's we need to have something that automatically calls a function every so many seconds in this case it's every fifth of a second I'm updating it and it's called set interval and we'll deal with that in uh, class in another lecture okay so that's the exercise for Pac-Man.